just loading up. About to head out for the day. Spiro's all good to go. Te Meriu Rufano, uh, welcome back to part two of our blue water trip up to the Bay of Plenty with Darren. Uh, yeah, early start, and uh, we're making our way to Fakatani. Um, had a couple of stops on the way for coffee and fuel, and proceeded to to head on towards the uh, the boat ramp there. Uh, when we when we pulled up down there, there was quite a few people hissing to get in the water, so you know we didn't really waste too much time and got kitted up and and figured out who was doing what and, and put the put the waka in the water um, so managed to sneak in there and, and get the boat down so we're just here at the Whakatane boat ramp um, destination for today, Whakari White Island that's us, we're out there trying to target the haku but um, yeah, all the boys were hissing, hissing about today's mission. Um, you know, we we're looking forward to not only being with Darren, but another legend. We had uh, Graham Leach, aka Leachy, coming with us today. Who's uh, who's pretty sharp on the on the tools, <coughs> and also got a lot of local knowledge. So yeah, we're definitely we're definitely in the right hands. And uh, yeah, as I say, we we're just. We're just looking forward to, to getting out there and exploring a, a new place and hopefully getting the, the, the boys on to some, um, some kingies. So yeah, just a, just a quick shuffle around, um, getting all our kits sorted. Um, obviously standard procedure, a bit of a cut of care um, and setting our intentions for the day and of what we wanted to do and, and how we were going to do that uh, safely. Um, and then yeah, just proceeded to to make our way out um, towards this this bar that we keep hearing about that can be um, quite gnarly on its day. Fortunately for us, uh, today the sea was looking pretty good, the weather was on and um, yeah, we didn't have to experience that side of it. So yeah, we were away. Here we are, day two, heading out over the Fru Whakatane. Over the bar? Is it over the bar? Yep. Ali bar too, this one. Got the boys got OG Graham on deck today, he's gonna show us how it's done. Boys ready to roll. Rob, you awake? Awake, man. You awake? Unlike our trip out to Beer Island, um, today was a was a cracker, and um, you know, Darren was able to open up out in the open sea with the big Merc V8 on the back, and yeah, we we were flying across that channel and, and making our way out there. Uh, he was telling us about a reserve called the Volcanas, um, and the plan was we we're going to pull in there to warm up the lungs and, and have a look around at a few of the species there. Um, one being the golden snapper, which none of us had seen in the water. But yeah, when we uh, when we pulled up there, uh, the visibility just looked incredible. Um, you could just see they almost looked fluoro. Uh, all the big, massive blue mau mau that were there. Um, you could just see them up on the surface. And yeah, we just we just couldn't believe it really. And that was us. We were in there. Just surrounded by, oh, it would be easily 20 meters plus viz, um, just full of life, and yeah, the boys were just, just couldn't believe it, and um, yeah, obviously no spear guns in the reserve, none of that sort of stuff. It was we were there just to, just to soak it all in and and have a scenic dive and, and warm up the lungs and get ready. But yeah, just incredible. I uh, just recommend if you're heading out to Fakari that you, you take a dip in this reserve and see what it's all about. It's, uh, it's definitely, definitely a beautiful spot.
man, these uh, these blue Mau Mau, um, they were huge. Never seen Mau Mau that big before. Didn't even know they could get that big. Um, so yeah, it's pretty buzzy to see them, and they were just they were just everywhere. Um, but yeah, man, what a buzzy spot to dive. It was uh, like I said, the viz was incredible, and you know we it just felt like we we're swimming in an aquarium, to be honest. After a bit of a warm up we managed to find where the golden snapper were hiding down here under the sledge. I think it was about maybe 15, maybe a little bit more meters, um, which apparently is quite shallow for golden snapper. So yeah, it's good to good to see them and and all this bloody blue moki that were around too. They were they were bloody monsters. Um, but it was cool to see see them in numbers and more in a relaxed state. As, as opposed to what we used to back here in the Wairat Upper. But yeah, from there, back on the boat and um, proceeded to head over to Fakadi White Island. Um, yeah, it was probably about now uh, where everything started to kick in, you know, acknowledging the, the lives lost in the tragedy in 2019 and, you know, the fact that it's still an active uh, volcano. Um, just taking all of that in, trying to soak all that in um, when preparing for our next dive. But yeah, just a general check in with the brothers and, and everyone on board and did another karaki as we were pushing around um, further around the island. But yeah, amazing um, and eerie. Steam coming out of the, the top of the volcano and um, water te water temperatures sort of going up and down on the on the sounder was uh, pretty out of it um, But yeah, or something else we also learned as well is that There's not many snapper if any out at uh, out at White Island and um, which we found pretty buzzy and uh, Apparently it's because it's so far offshore and they don't like to travel out that far um, they do get seen out there and people get snapper out there, but it's not really a common a common species With that being said, you know, this was pretty much our last decent opportunity to target the haku So that was definitely the, the focus focus point for today uh, But you know being being the hunter gatherers we are um, all our dives sort of We sort of try to make sure that we get some kai um, on the board uh, for Farno and, and, and for Kai so yeah um, wasn't too too long too much longer and we found a, a spot that we were going to get into and um, yeah didn't take long now that everything was free game and the boys were into it
mixed it with all the commotion, all the brothers banging the fish, we knew eventually um, that the bigger predators would come in. And uh, sure enough, uh, Brother Tips here shot a pink Mau Mau and didn't realise at the time um, that there was a quite a decent sized bronzy lurking around underneath. Um, luckily he was able to land that fish, so Katie Pai. Um, and yeah, um, Brother Rob managed to bag his first haku, um, which was which was pretty awesome for the brother. You know that that was the intention. He said that's what he wanted to get out of the trip. Um, so yeah, to be able to be able to nail one with a stone shot and secure that fish was a, a pretty surreal feeling for the brother. So yeah, we continued on. <clears throat> a couple of the bros jumped back on the boat for a bit of a snack and me and brother Tip um, sort of headed out into the deeper waters with Darren. From there we had a bit of a plan, um, we were swimming up into the current for quite a bit and sort of taking turns of shooting Mau Mau or Kohiru or just a bait fish and burling it up into that, um, into that current. And before too long, um, had a curious king come up for a bit of a nosy and yeah, was able to drop down and put a shot into him. So yeah, as you can imagine, I was pretty stoked to get a to get a haku on the board, um, and I uh, ended up getting pushed quite a quite a bit away from the boys um, in the current, trying to trying to dispatch it and get it in the float. But um, yeah, now it was time to um, to get that burly going again and get some commotion happening for our brother Tips to get into it. Little did I know that uh, while I was bloody down there mucking around, uh, a, big, a couple of big schools had come in on Darren and Tippy, and uh, Tip was able to drop down onto the school, pick out his fish that he wanted, he, um, he stuck with it, and waited for the right shot, and yeah, put a really good, good holding shot in the fish. And um, yeah, pretty much just worked it, um, tied it out and just played it safe and yeah, he was able to bring it up to the surface and secure the fish. Um, it was a beautiful moment for the cuzzy. Uh, this was his first haku, so it's really awesome to be able to share that experience with him and Darren and, um, and just yeah, really embrace that moment. After a few more um, laps up and down that stretch of coastline, we um, were starting to get a bit hungry and get a bit uh, get a bit worn out from all the, the drops we were doing. So yeah, once Tippy had secured his fish, we we started making our way back to the boat to to have a bit of a snack.
Well, team, we're just back on the boat having a bit to eat, a bit of lunch. Man, what an epic morning. We um, we ended up shooting out into the bait schools and we were told by the man himself that they would come and they sure came all right. We, um, we got some haku in the bin, some big, big blue mau mau and we bloody stoked. We, uh, we can't wait. We're just going to have a rest and then we're going to get back into it. Can't wait to um, see what else we can get in the chilli bin. Whanau. So yeah, it was bloody awesome. So, uh, our bin's looking pretty healthy so far, fine note. It's a massive um, blue mau mau like I've never seen before. And your haku on. What a day! Me and Mish out to Pakari, uh, White Island. Just got back to the Fakatone boat ramp. Been full of koi. Oh, can't ask for much more. The ripper of a day. Good conditions. Unbelievable visibility. So yeah, can't wait to get the footage up, Fano. Check. Next minute, six months later. Fa aroha, my Fano. But hey, just yeah, thanks, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the edit, and I uh, just want to give a massive shout out to Darren and Ellie for hosting us. Man, we had an amazing time, and it was awesome to meet um, Leechy um, and the bro Sammy, and yeah, just can't wait to run it back. Maybe order for now. Well team, we've just packed up, we've just left Darren's, Darren and Ellie's place. 
Man, what a um, what an ultimate experience, like a, a full package, eh, brother? Just uh, we were, we were spoilt from um, start to finish. Um, you know, we pretty much lived on wild harvest the kai the whole time. Um, we got to see uh, Tuhua, Me Island. We got to see uh, Fakari, um, White Island, and just you know all around the Bay of Plenty area. It was um, it was unbelievable, and it's certainly going to be a hard trip to top. Um, yeah, our intentions were to come up here to learn and to get some kai to take home to the whanau and pretty safe to say we've got a mean kai to take home, eh? There'll be some pretty uh, happy people on my family when I get home. Mm. So, to the whanau that are in the know, see you soon. And uh, yeah, thanks team, can't wait to get the footage up to you. Cheer whanau. Massive shout out to our whanau up at Weddy for their continued support. Don't forget team, if you're in the market for some good quality dive gear, uh, hit us up or hit them up on Facebook or online. Also, a big thanks to Kat and the team from Optical Suit Loop. Cheers team, we appreciate you hooking us up for our trip. And last but not least, big shout out to our bro Jason and the crew at Visual Industries Carterton. If you guys want any stickers, float boat stickers, vinyl stickers for cars, boats, etc., hit us up or hit them up directly. Today.